Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. Hope you're having a good day. We are going to do a beautiful layout um, with Pink Fresh products because I am doing Pink Fresh Fridays with my crafty friend um, Joanne and Sue and Ronnie Sue and lots of wonderful, beautiful creators. So make sure you check them all out. The links to everyone that is doing Pink Fresh Friday this month are in the description. Sad news that Pink Fresh is um, no longer going to be doing scrapbooking supplies. I film ahead, so that notice just came out sad right but you know what it's okay we we will still be able to have pink fresh market the different products that they have so i'm anxious to see you know where they go and hopefully it's just a pause and they'll bring it back Let, let's just hope for that all right with that said i am doing my large professional photos today i'm doing one of jillian um, I got into photography, you know, for scrapbookers. So a while back, and this is a photo I took of Jilly Joe when we lived in Colorado by Brighton, Colorado at the lake there. Um, this is a fun story because at this lake, there are, it's um, like the number one place in America where eagles mate. And so you can go, it's usually January, February and see a ton of bald eagles that are flying around and you watch them get fish out of the, um, lake and it's just a beautiful place to go. But this is Jilly Joe that year. I, I believe this was 2018. I'm going to have to look it up so I have the year right. Um, and I pulled out a couple of pink fresh papers. This one here I pulled out. Um, it is Everyday Musings. M musing. Um, yeah, you all know me and talk. <laughs> it's not possible. It's just not. And then I pulled out a bunch of doilies. Um, I don't really know where I'm going to go with this. I pulled out some titles. Um, that I got in a recent haul. Um, the doilies I got in uh, swaps over on Ginger's Corner. We do an annual doily swap. And then I have a new pack of ephemera from Simple, or Pink Fresh, pardon me, um, Spring Vibes. And then these are odds and ends from other ephemera packs. We're just gonna put a page together. Now, when you're doing large photos, don't be afraid to cut them down. You guys, I cut not about three fourths of an inch off the side and about half an inch off the top. I, I want it to see the paper a little bit. Now, I don't do that every time. If you watch me, that's what I'm doing with Pink Fresh Fridays and Simple Stories, Simple Story Saturdays, is I am doing my large photos that I used to hang on my wall and now are in a bin. That I don't want them on a, in a bin. I want them in albums. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm So what I'm thinking is I'm going to play with some doilies. I don't do that that often. I have this ginormous one. Um... Don't be afraid to glue your doilies together either. Now these, this is one, two, this is like four doilies, but I like the sturdiness of it. And I just run, I just pull them apart like so. And I run some glue in here and then I use them in sets. We get them in these packs that have like 30 and we don't want the same design. So don't be, bulk them up, right? Use them as much as you can. What I'm thinking is I need to cut this section of it off. So usually I have a base and I just kind of put the page. We do some trial and error and see what'll work. This time I'm going to kind of figure it out as I go because my base is going to be a lot of my decoration, ephemera, however you want to see it, on the page. So um, we'll see what happens here. So I'm thinking like so. I love the circles. I love, it gives me a doily feel. I think this would be a good 4th of July paper too, but I'm not you enough for that. <laughs> so then I want this here, like so. I matted this in um, another Pink Fresh scrap that I have. I don't even know what paper this was, but I had the scraps, so. And it was in my Pink Fresh bin, so here we are. Because I don't have a ton of Pink Fresh, I really don't. Which kind of makes me sad but I have a hard time using it sometimes, and I know that, so I've never bought a ton of Pink Fresh. Then I was thinking of maybe layering some colored doilies that I had gotten in swaps. Um, this color to me really kind of, it's a different blue, but it's a shade of blue, right? And then, I don't know, I just kind of liked that, this one here. So maybe We'll try that, see how that works. I, I don't know, we'll have to play it by ear. 
Maybe we'll even pull this this way a little. I'm just gonna try it and see. Then I pulled out two titles. I recently bought a title pack. Let's see, where is it at? I don't wanna tell you wrong. Um, this one here, it's called um, Delightful, but it's a bunch of different, from that line, yeah. It's a bunch of different titles and I chose Simply Lovely or Sweet Things. I'm on the fence with both. Ooh, that pops really good, doesn't it? And I'm okay with it going over my photo. I like Simply Lovely. Let's try that, see how that works. Just gonna start little this, little that. I wanna try to use some of my remnants from other ephemera packs before I open my new floral. We got quite a bit of florals here. Need something maybe, I'm thinking, up here in this corner. I don't do a lot of journaling on these. Oh, that's the right color. Look, shine and sparkle. Look at that, yay! I like that, for sure, that's going there. Um, what if we were to tuck this even like behind the, between the mat and the photo, that might work even better. Maybe even go on the photo like so. That's cute. And then have that right there. Love that. All right, so these are the same. What if I, since I tucked that there, I tuck this over here. Oh, I kind of want it on top. Let's do the same thing. Let's go between the mat and the photo. Just like that. That's nice, I like that. Maybe we can get some more in here. Let's see, I have this big one and this big one. That would give us maybe even this one here. We'll see, all right, so maybe I can go here with it. I kind of like that poking through like that. Or should we beef this up? Then we're gonna be covering up our doily, but that that's, Okay, I never stress about whether I'm covering up this or that. I just layer. I mean, that's the fun part of making a cluster to me. Okay, I like that for sure. I think I like it behind more. Sometimes I gotta marinate on it for a second. Yeah, I like that doily on top. Wonder if I could turn this though, so maybe more of that pink comes through. I kind of like the pink. We'll just keep turning it. Oh, there we go. I like that. All right, so we're gonna go that way, which maybe I can mimic that down here, like, like the blue, but I think I should repeat the blue up here since I have it here. Hmm, things that make you go, hmm. Okay, let's redirect. <laughs> I like that blue sticking out of there. I'm gonna be using a lot more florals than I thought. That's all right. That's what we do. Okay, I like that. And then maybe we can beef this up like that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, <laughs> I love it when I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> oh, I like this color. Is that the same color? See how these are a deep green? These have more of a teal blue. Hmm, definitely maybe should try to get this in here too to pull that in. Why not? Well, it's just been sitting in this bin. I might as well. What else do I got in here? I have that one. This has a little bit more. Wonder if this would be a better fit over here. Hmm. No, I mean, no, I don't want that there. I do like this though. I like the thought of that over that, but that looks good. It's cute. Um. Maybe even put that here. There we go. I mean, we can layer it however we want. You guys, I, th I think that's, I don't want to keep adding because it'll be, oh, here's the blue. Oh, I like the blue florals in here. I think it brings it all together. Almost wonder, as much as I like this one there, what if I did this one there instead? I mean, I do like that. We could even put this one behind it like that. There we go. I like that. Okay, and then that go in the corner. 
What else? Do I have any more blue? I mean, maybe there's treasures in here. There's treasures. Oh, yes, please. That's cute. I like that. Um, I think I'm good. I don't think I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep on adding. I'm just not. I might tuck this just because I can, right? Get rid of that one too. I'm trying to use up some of the stuff that I have left over. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, yep, I'm going to stop myself because I'm just going to keep on going. I don't really need to journal. I really do like the doilies layered and I like the layers of flowers. So let me glue it down. I'll be back and look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hanging there. All right, you guys, I got it all glued down. I did everything I said I was gonna do. I did find a little like journal spot. It's actually a ticket and I tucked it in there. Um, so I could put that it was in Brighton, Colorado at Bar Lake. You guys should look that up on the internet. It is, there's videos, like they do it on the news every year. It is beautiful. I had never, I lived in Montana for years and we lived in Colorado for like, what, four years, I think it was. I saw more bald eagles, e eagles, blah, 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 <laughs> in Colorado than I ever saw in Montana. And there was actual an eagle nest on my mom's farm in Montana. But I am telling you, during mating season, they're everywhere. Everywhere. We saw them all the time when we lived in the RV, even before we moved to Texas. So lots and lots of fun. Check that out if you want to. Bar Lake in Brighton, Colorado, Eagle Mating Ground. It is beautiful. Um, and with that, let's see. I did add some pink fresh gems. Let's see. I put them away already. I'm sorry. So they're these drops, gem drops, glitter drops. That's what they're called. I never remember what they're called. They're drops of some kind. <laughs> I used those for the center of my flowers and a couple down here. Everything else we talked about and I did. And thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired to pull out your doilies and play with them and your pink fresh. And get out those large photos. Get them out of the boxes because I know you got them in there. We all do. And put them in your albums. That's where they belong. With that, be blessed. I'll see you next month for more pink fresh fun. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.